So while I've been uh, testing, uh, just trying these on in the house, I have received my fourth pair of Vibram V Trail shoes. So let's just quickly test these out and see how these go as well. So my fourth pair of V Trail. Before we even put them on, let's just double check the stitching on the inside of the shoe, of the right one. Feels good. This is something which you need to do, uh, seemingly, with these with these new ones. And on the left foot, also finally feels good. Uh, no, not too much kind of um, squishing of the top toe before I put them on. And uh, the other toe, yeah. See, that's a little bit, a little bit squished going on there. Let's just. Oh, hold on. Double check. Are they the right size? Size 45. Let's stick them on. Fingers crossed, fourth time lucky, the V Trails are a win. By Jove, they seem to be fitting. However, there, there is obviously still the ruffling, but uh, the test is not in whether they fit on your feet, but whether they're comfortable on your feet. So, the first same, same thing that I'm doing with my V Trains at the moment is to give them a good 20, 30 minutes, half an hour, walking around the house, do some hoovering. Um, and stuff like that uh, in-house, see how they feel, where there's any rubs, where there's any niggles, where there's any stitching going out. Oh, that was the other thing about these ones. The last time I had an issue with these, again, I wear these without socks, was, yes, much better. The stitching for the inside of, of there, a lot, yeah, I definitely had a duff pair in the last set. These look a lot better. So anyway, Let's see how they feel after 20 minutes. Let's see what complaints I can come up with uh, after 20 minutes. It's the morning after the day before that I have got my new Vibram V Trails. These are the fourth pair of V Trails which I've tried to get to either fit, be the right size or not have some sort of defect. And annoyingly, I'm having to send these ones, in fact, I'm, I'm giving up. I'm sending these back, I'm not asking for a replacement, I just want a refund. I'm completely giving up on the Vibram V-Trail uh, shoes. The, just every one that I've had. One, like, on this, on this pair that I've got, um, they're so close to being okay. Um, but they're not £125 okay, that's... That's my issue here. If I'm spending £125 on these shoes, I don't want to be having any sort of bits where I'm going, the insole doesn't feel quite right. Mm, uh, mm, is that a niggle? I want to be putting these on and going, these are great. And the thing is, the right foot is great. I put this one, one on, it fits, it feels comfortable, uh, there's no niggles, there's no nipping bits, the insole's right, everything's fine. If I can get two of this right foot, I would be happy and I'm staying with it. If I could do a return back to Amazon, where I bought them from, and say, can I just give the left foot, and can you just give me another left foot so I can try and get a working pair, then that's fine. And the problem with this one, on the outside, everything's good, its length is good, its fit is good, but there's just something slightly wrong with the insole. So I'm trying to do a little video where I explain it, and effectively, in my previous set of these, we had an insole issue where the bit to your plantar fascia kind of area was, was rubbing. Now, in this foot, that is fine, feels good. I was thinking, that's absolutely perfect. But for some reason, there's now just a little bump further up inside, just around my pinky toe foot area on the outside. Okay, so in the sole of the shoe, I'm finally to just clear. If I were to put my finger here, see there's a big gap. The fact that there's this bump, which I'll try and get an angle that actually shows it. There, so that, if you can see that. I, don't, I, can, I can see it really well. And it, it's so close to kind of just kind of going, I pretty much could go, yeah, it's fine. 
I'm happy with it, or uh, I wouldn't say I'm happy with it, but yeah, there's just, there's clearly a difference between left and right foot, and the left foot, every time I've put it on so far, it's just, it's, it's a thing which I'm noticing. Instead of me putting them on going, oh, these feel great, let's go for a run, I'm going, don't want to go outside just yet because they don't feel quite right. Is it just in my head? And then I'm looking in here and I'm seeing that the insole, the way it's cut, it's cut seems to be fine, but there's a, again, is there, is a, there's a little ridge. And it's, these are shoes which you wear without socks. So if there's a little ridge going on somewhere in the shoe and you're trying to go for an hour, two hour, three hour hill run, that little ridge could turn into a little rub and that little rub can just expand and, and expand until you've got full-blown bleeding feet. So, although I really, really wanted these to work after my fourth pair, and I've had pairs which one foot has been great and then the other foot has been rubbish, and I've had to swap round each time, I and the, every single one of them has this ruffling going on at the front here. And it's like, it just doesn't seem to be well designed. Like this, this weird ruffle that, that's just, it's just not seeming like it's properly designed. Um, it's even got a couple of nicks in the actual material at the front there. No, you can see that, no, that matters. Um, the sole, if we can put this sole on a more simple shot like my, my bikilas. If my bikilas, which are absolutely fine, if we could put this, if, I could, if we could do a sole replacement, that's all that I want. What they've done with this, they've tried to make it more funky with extra laces, bits, which are of no use. They've made the back bit much wider, which is, again, not much good apart from getting more twigs and stuff inside. And just every one that I've had, we've got threads that... Oh, no, that, this one's a fine one. We've got threads which are not stitched properly. We've got um, bits. It's just... I don't know whether v Rooms has had a bad stock or something, but... You can't say it's a bad stock because the right foot is absolutely fine. Left foot is what sucks. And if you're paying a hunt for me a hundred and twenty-five pounds or hundred and twenty-nine pounds if I was buying it from a shop, I want to put these on and go, I want to go for a massive hill run straight away. I don't want to be going, I need to test these out for another day in the house because there's something just not quite right. For a hundred and twenty pounds, these should be absolutely perfect. And unfortunately, for what seems like somebody's doing some sort of stitching on the insole in there, sending them back for the fourth time, and I can't be bothered with another pair. Because another pair, I recently got a different pair, the V-Train. Um, so maybe not quite as grippy for, for the hills, but pretty solid. However, I've got some criticisms about this as well, which I'll put into another video. But I got these, these were £98 or something. Uh, these are £125. So it's just four, fourth time unlucky, sending them back, getting a re refund, not replacement. Okay, so in the sole of the shoe, I'm just going to get rid of. So this section down here, if I were to put my finger here, see there's a big gap. The fact that there's this bump which I'll try and get an angle that actually shows it. There, that's probably the bit that shows it the best. So there's a long distance between the edge of the shoe and where my thumb is, but that's not so much the problem. See, look, it's all the way from here. Quite a high distance away, so it comes in too much. And if we can see, there's a, there's a bump. There, so that if you can see that, I don't, 
I can I can see it really well. Okay, another bad bit is we've even got random threads just hanging out inside of the shoe. See, so yeah, that is not looking like how I want it. There, there, that's where you can see it. Just that bit. Yep, that's where we see it. So it's just this little bit of material there. It's given a little.